Good evening, good evening, everyone. Welcome to 130th video on misconceptions in physics. My name is Ratankar Rao. I teach physics in a school in Bangalore. And today we are in the chapter on logical reason in physics. Okay, so I think uh, for the past two days, I had not put across any videos. Reason is because I had lots of work and hence I was not able to come online. You know, recording one video at least takes me something like around half an hour. And then finally I had to edit if I had made some mistakes or whatever it is. And finally I tried to put it across. Uploading everything takes a long time. So I couldn't find myself time yesterday also. The whole time went on only in uh, doing some schoolwork. And as a result of it, I was not able to do. Anyway, let us not waste our time. Let me make it up. My target is somehow make... 365 videos in 365 days. Hope this will help a lot of students. Okay, so now let us begin with my video today. So we are looking at logical reasoning questions. And yeah, this is blocking my view. Okay, so this was one of the questions which one student, I don't know what is his name, but he just saw my video and just put across this particular question. And the question tells me something like this. He said, there are two persons, Janet and their brother. John decided to race to the end of the street and back again. The street was 80 meters long. Janet ran at 2.5 meters per second, while John's speed was 1.5 meters per second. Where were they when they passed each other? This was the question. And towards it, he worked out something like this. He said that, maybe, sir, let me assume that both of them, okay, one of them is... Janet, J A, the other one is J O, J N, J N, J O, who is uh, whose speed is much higher? The street was 80 meter long. Janet was so at 22.5 meters per second. He ran at 22.5 meters per second. So his speed is much higher, which means he will go faster, turn here, and then come back. While John's speed is 1.5, 1 meter per second lesser than it. So he will go slower. Okay. So let me write it down somewhere. We will say V of Janet was larger than. V of John. This is what we have got. And now the question is, okay, where will they meet? And he assumed, let them meet at a point X here, at a point P here, which is at a distance of X from here, from the main point. So as a result of this, see the displacement covered by Janet and the John, both are seen to be one and the same. See, Janet also starts moving from here and she, he goes here and then she goes here and then turns back and joins over here. By the time Janet goes over here, takes a new turn and comes over here, John meets at this point, which means John is now moving in this direction, while Janet is moving in the backward direction. She is returning like this. Okay, this is what is happening. So as a result of this, uh, both of them meet and we can solve it. And how do you solve it? He solved uh, like this. He said that, okay, 80 minus X is nothing but the distance traveled by John. See, if this whole thing is 80, then this distance should be 80 minus X. Do you agree? This is your 80 minus X, 80 minus X. And, uh, but while Janet had traveled a total distance of 80 plus X, 80 plus X, and thus he started equating these two. Okay. And then finally, X equal to 80 meters he got. How? Because 80 minus X equal to 80 plus X. Uh, 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 sorry, not X equal to 80. He got X equal to 0 meters. X equal to 0 meters. How? Because you see, 80 and 80 goes away and you get a 2x equal to 0, 2x equal to 0, which implies that x equal to 0. What do you mean by x equal to 0? Which means this distance is 0. Which means what? This distance, if it is 1 meter, this much way, it will be so much. If it is 0.5 meter, it will be so much. If it is 0.1 meter, it will be so much. We x equal to 0, which means it is at this point only. Which means what? Both Janet ran faster. John also came like this. And both of them met at the same point. Are, how is this possible? Then he, he said, sir, maybe, okay, Janet went first. He took a turn. She took a turn, then stopped there for a while. And by the time, John also joined. But uh, you cannot assume things like this, okay? So as a result of it, something is wrong with our conclusions. Uh, something is wrong with our mathematical modeling or logical reason. Now, what is wrong? That's a question we need to ask. The first thing which is incorrect here is that, see, initially I said 80 minus X for Janet. And you equated the same is equal to 80 plus x. Now the question is, 
Now, when can we do this? Now, what is 80 plus X? 80 plus X is nothing but this is 80 meters and this is X over here, which means you take up this distance, you add up this distance, two distances you are going to add, which means what? Is it displacement? It is not displacement. It is total distance. So you are having a total displace distance over here. What is 80 minus X? It's also distance. Okay. But this also equal to displacement. Now, what did we say? Why did we equate these two? Okay. This is a different distance. Let me call this X1. This is a different distance. X2. X1 and X2 you have equated. How can that be possible? You cannot do that. But what did we say? We logically, we reasoned it saying that X1 is equal to X2 because they are meeting at the same point and their displacement is same. First, you equate the distance and secondly, you say it is displacement. So, you are confusing yourself. Huh? So, this is what has happened. So, you say that is a distance and that is a displacement. How can distance and displacement be equal or when can it be equal? It would be equal only when both the particles are moving in the same straight line, nothing else. Right? So, therefore, this is absurd. Right? I hope you understood the misconception. See, every problem is easier. The only thing is that we should resolve the problem appropriately. If you resolve it, you can do anything. Every IIT problem is also very easy for you. Okay. Now, let us solve this. Now, what is the right solution? So, I hope you understood about the misconception. The misconception is we reasoned it inappropriately. We equated the distance to the displacement. Okay. And we reasoned saying that both the displacement are one and the same, which is not true. Okay. Thus, x1 is not equal to x2. So that's what I said. Whether to use displacement. Now you use a displacement. So this is incorrect. Now let us look at the how to solve this problem. Now see why this confusion arises because the moment you say both of them meet at one point, you said displacement. I'm going to consider. Okay. Now let us look at this one more parameter which you need to look at it, which is nothing but your time. See this person. Let us say for example, he has taken Janet has taken. She has taken something like. Uh, let us say 10 minutes to start from here, ran over here and again joined over here. Now, what is the time taken by John? Do you think it will be less than 10 minutes, more than 10 minutes or equal to 10 minutes? When you say both of them are meeting and they're moving at the same velocity, definitely the time should be the same, right? The time taken by Janet to cover a larger distance is equal to the time taken by John to cover a shorter distance. That's it, right? So therefore, time should be equal, which means I should now write T1 should be equal to T2. Now, how do you calculate T1? T1 is nothing but the total distance traveled by Janet, which should now be equal to 80 plus X. 80 plus X divided by velocity. What is the velocity? Or speed. What is the speed? 2.5 divided by 2.5. This should now be equal to the total distance covered by John. What is the distance covered by John? 80 minus X divided by what is the speed? 1.5. Now, you might be having a, something in mind. So, why am I dividing this with velocity or speed over here? See, I'm just using a very simple formula. The formula I think you would have already learned in your kinematics. Okay. Which is nothing but uh, uh, the speed. What is the formula for speed? Distance divided by time. What do I need? I, I need time. I pull this time upwards uh, and I push this speed downwards. So, I get x divided by speed. Right. And for speed, I have substituted here. And for this x, what is x distance? The distance traveled by Janet is not x. It is 80 plus x. And distance traveled by J, by John is nothing but 80 minus x. I just substituted that. Nothing else. I have not done any rocket science here. Okay. Now, let us solve this. And when we solve this, what do I get here? I get 80 plus x into, I am not using my calculators. I just do it like this, is equal to 80 minus x multiplied by 2.5. Okay. 1.5 and 2.5. I will get confused. Huh? This dot should be replaced properly. Okay. Now, now what we do is, okay, let us resolve this. Now, let me expand. I don't have space there. My board work is not so good. But anyway, uh, now 80 into 1.5. I'm not expanding that. I just write it like this. Plus x into 1.5. Put the dot properly. This should now be equal to 80 into 2.5. Minus x into 2.5. Now let us solve this. Now what do I do is I will pull this uh, negative fellow to that side. So and I will push this one here. I will push this one here. And I will pull this one to the other side. So when I do this what do I get? x into 1.5 and this becomes plus over here. 1.5 plus 2.5 is equal to. Now this becomes 
80 into 2.5 minus 1.5, which implies 4x, very can 4x is equal to, 4x is equal to 80, or x is equal to 20 meters. Wow. See, I got it correctly. Right? Did my division? Yeah, I didn't use my calculator. So, a bit worried whether I would have done it correctly or wrong. Okay, x equal to 20 meters. So, which means, uh, what was the question? Where were they? What do you mean by that? Jan and Janet met at a distance of 60 meters, 60 meters from the starting point. This is the point where they met. Okay. And what was it? When they passed each other. When they passed. Where were they? When they passed each other. So, therefore, this guy has already travelled. Janet has already travelled a distance of 80 meters plus 20 meters. 100 meters she has already travelled. Very fast. Pretty Usha. Uh, then, but John is not like that. He, has, he is a bit slower. Uh, like me, maybe. Okay, I don't run much. I only cycle. So, he has only travelled a distance of 60 meters. Okay. I hope you appreciate this problem. So, such kinds of problems are really interesting. These are not your JE mains or advanced questions. Okay. These are very simpler problems, but this is just definitely a thought-provoking problem. Where to use when? Okay, that's very, very important to understand. Problems can be simpler, but it should reveal some important concept. If you know this, then definitely you'll be able to solve much of the problems. Thank you, friends, for watching this video until the end. And if you really like this video, do share to my, and uh, with your friends and subscribe to my channel for more and more updates. Thank you. Shortly, I'll be releasing the uh, missing video. Yesterday's video also I'll be releasing it. Maybe tomorrow or day after tomorrow when I find time, I'll put out two, three videos together. Thank you.